Ryanair aka Mac and welcome. In this video I go through the latest 3.10 Evocati patch notes. Before I do though, I would like to thank my latest patrons, Mason Stormer, Squidrog Bob and Vizzo. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you are interested in becoming a patron or channel member, the links are below. And also make sure you are subscribed and comment below with what you're excited for for 3.10 as we have a Mantis game package to give away, courtesy of my channel member, The Doctor. So, Evocati have the latest 3.10 build, which is 3.10b. It still doesn't contain everything yet, and the testing focus is like the previous patch. We have ship flight in and out of atmosphere, updated building blocks UI for all the ships, high-speed combat changes, turret gameplay, and torque and thruster damage. I think torque and thruster damage may be the new uh, focus. A lot of this we can actually read about in the latest comlink post talking about the flight model and combat changes. I do highly suggest reading that if you want to get a bit more understanding about the changes coming to 3.10's flight. It is exciting stuff. I will cover that in a later video. So for updates in this patch, the locations, they have done a lighting pass on the new Babbage hangars. They have added new ships to the Astro Armada, New Deal and Teachers ship shops. We don't know what yet, although I think the Argo Mole is one of them. The Gemini C-54 SMG can now be found at Centermass and Cubby Blast, and the Atskav Sniper and Uberev Pistol from the Lightning Bolt Company are now at Conscientious Objects, which I believe is the weapon shop at Levski. For gameplay, they have updated high-speed combat for Gimbal Slew Rate and Missile Lock Rate. They've also added FPS player HUD interference when hit by the Electron Damage, so this is using the new Sniper Rifle or Uberev Pistol. Your HUD will sort of flicker, I expect. I haven't seen it yet. We'll have to check that out. For ships and vehicles, the turret HUD initial visual pass includes a visual compass and other useful information. They have increased jerk on larger ships for both rotation and linear to add feeling of mass. They've also changed radars inside of the 890 jump turret from 2D to 3D, so that sounds interesting. They've reduced the max vertical angle the turrets can move in the Valkyrie and Freelancer. They've moved the F7C Hornet, the Hawk and Mustang wings to the correct rotation and they've removed the redundant terminal velocity indicator which says Term 1 uh, which was on all ships. For Core Tech, they have updated the front end friend list to show offline contacts as slightly greyed out and players should now be able to bind recenter turret to HOTAS controls. So a lot of flight stuff there, a lot of new weapony things going on and turrets are definitely getting a lot of focus with this patch as we know. When it comes to things like jerk and thrusters and so on, reading this latest comlink post is going to help you understand a lot more about it if you don't already. So lots of bug fixes, there is about 35 bug fixes so I won't go through all of them but they have fixed missing atmosphere in Lawville's bar, that's important because they now have a bartender. Turret controls should no longer overlap with the pilot seat's remote turret access, so basically when the pilot takes remote access, it won't take it away from a turret operator if they are sat in the seat. Text alignment on the reclaimer, remote turret should no longer be backwards. Weapon lockers on the Karak, 890 Jump and Vanguard Sentinel should now persist weapons when the ship is stored and retrieved, so that's excellent to hear. They've stabilised Sabre Flight so it doesn't always dip downwards. Corrected an error with one of the Karak retro thrusters having inverted values, that would make it challenging to fly. Shots with fixed weapons should now land correctly and consistently when on target, that is excellent news making fixed more of a viable option again. The prison ore deposit kiosk should now accurately recognise the ore units present in a player inventory. And also adjustments to the Argo Mole speed limiter should no longer affect the power output of the mining laser. So quite a few crossover fixes there. They've also done 5 client and 8 server crash fixes and they've fixed a server deadlock. Now known issues, there are a lot of known issues again so I won't read them all off but just a few of the important ones. Proximity chat audio is very quiet and low quality, legally landed ships may get impounded, AI NPCs still stand on seats in various locations, players may get stuck on a loading screen when leaving prison, all map markers are still offset from planet surfaces, when you prone and aim down sights with the P6 and arrowhead snipers your view is blocked through the scope, there is a naked AI standing in multiple areas of the PU so be aware. There's also quite a few turret issues, as you would imagine, with them changing that up, uh, amongst others. 
So that is the latest from the second Evocati test. Something I will mention, which is said in the latest CIG post regarding flight, is that they intend to release this 3.10 patch to live in July. Now, I always expect that to be the case as a live release now anyway, is to be in the next month. It looks as though Evocati may have it for a little while yet, and then it'll go into open PTU by the end of June with a live release in July. This tends to be the pattern now, so do keep that in mind. But I am very excited to get my hands on this patch and begin to learn to fly and fight properly again. I do hope that this is going to give combat that much needed boost that we've all been hoping for. It also sounds like the ship behaviours in atmosphere is coming along excellently and should expand to be something very interesting that will require a bit more skill. Especially when more systems come online like ship components and the damage systems, I am very excited to get my hands on and give it a go. Anyway, with that said, make sure you hit subscribe and tick that notification bell so you know when all of my videos go live. Hit the like button if you're excited for 310. Come follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan. I may even be streaming right now. Big thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.